Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hair Software, and today we're going to be talking about how to automate your social media posting for better content distribution with Publer. Um, so I'm going to pop over here to the screen capture. Um, and so, okay, this is Publer. Uh, Publer is like a social media posting tool, kind of like similar to Hootsuite or Buffer. Um, I really liked this one when I was shopping around because it had kind of the best video distribution coverage, like some of the other platforms didn't integrate with YouTube, for instance. Um, it's also got the ability to scrape RSS feeds, which I really like, and then just love their uh, posting features, which is which are comparable to other um, tools in the market. Um, so I'm going to start from the Publer dashboard here. So this is what you see after you've signed up for your account and you're um, you know, coming into your uh, dashboard by default. Um, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new account and I'm going to uh, add a LinkedIn page. I'm going to sign in there and add this LinkedIn page here. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my accounts. Um, so I've just added this new account. It's a um, LinkedIn page for one of my clients. And I'm going to come over um, back to the accounts there and filter this by LinkedIn. And then I'm going to find that page and hit the settings. So this is the settings for the um, account. And there's a couple things that I want to um, configure here. You know, the first of those is the posting schedule. The posting schedule basically just defines when your account will publish any automatic content every day. Um, so I'm going to set this to 1 p.m. post type any Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So five days of the week. And I'm going to hit create. So now we've just defined a posting schedule for the account, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern every day. Um, the next thing I'm going to configure is the signature. So I'm going to name this the default signature. And the signature is just something like an email signature where there's like a sign off um, from all of your posts when they're posted through Publer. Um, you can configure multiple signatures, but I'm just going to create a default one here real quick. Um, I've already kind of like typed it out here and I'm going to hit create. So now we've got a signature that will follow at the end of all of the posts. Then I'm going to come over here to the URL settings and I'm going to hit yes on this Google Analytics thing, which basically just says we're going to use the default UTM uh, tracking parameters. Uh, so these are ways that you can pass campaign data to analytics platforms. Um, so I'm going to change the source here to LinkedIn, the medium to social, and the campaign to um, TNHS Publer uh, posting. You know, so basically this is like the campaign name that I would like to see in analytics. Um, TNHS is Tortoise and Hare Software, Publer is the platform, and posting is the campaign. Um, so I'm going to save that. And that's all that really needs to be configured here. You can kind of dive through uh, any other things you'd like to as you see fit. Um, so we've got our account kind of configured uh, at the minimum things we need um, for this video. And now we're going to create a post. Um, so here's the account. I'm going to select the account here from the dashboard. Uh, at the bottom because we just configured that one and then I'm going to bring in a post that I've written. So this post here um, is something that's a core piece of content that we would want to promote regularly. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this food safety group food safety training page and then I'm going to uh, put this uh, URL here and um, boom we got group discounts available get 15% off your next proctored food safety training session when you enroll five or more students into our serve safe food manager program 
So, you know, we've got promoting the group discount. We're going to send them to the group food safety training page. And then I'm going to come down here and hit recycle uh, and recycle again. Okay, so I'm going to set this to recycle once every three months. Uh, most B2B lead generation sales cycles are in kind of the 90 day range uh, for like, you know, a service. Um, so having like a defined set of core content that comes out every quarter um, as a promotional thing can be a great way to shore up the middle funnel and then help people who are in the consideration phase of, you know, engaging with your brand uh, on a potential deal, um, you know, and it will, you know, really help facilitate that process, help you generate more leads and help you close more deals. Um, so uh, setting it for three months, you can configure it at whatever interval that makes sense for the piece of content that you're recycling. For instance, a current event you might want to do recycle every one week for uh, a month or something like that. Um, so, you know, select your interval for the recycling of the posts. I like to enable this recycle if there are only, if there are no scheduled posts for the given day, um, because I only want to post it most once per day, most of the time. Um, you can set a start date if you want, and then you can automatically expire your recycling again after a, a certain duration but I don't want to expire this one. I want this one to run indefinitely. So I'm going to hit recycle. Um, and boom, now on my accounts, if I come down here and filter to the account, or sorry, on the posts page, I can come down here and filter to that account and then choose you know, recycling from these post types. And we'll see all the ones that we have coming out on a recurring basis. Um, so boom, uh, I'll show you quickly the tortoise and hare uh, software LinkedIn, LinkedIn and you can see we've got all sorts of kind of content that we have on a regular uh, promotional schedule. Uh, we've got blog content, YouTube videos, lead magnet offers, um, about page, company culture stuff, um, and service description pages, um, you know, things like that. So you know, the right content for your particular brand um, will vary and your kind of like content strategy might be longer than three months or you know whatever. But either way, yeah, using this recycling feature and this kind of like, you know, reposting of content at regular intervals is a great way to turn your social media from a huge chore into a more sustainable and augmented um, operation that can give you a lot more value out of it. Um, for smaller companies, I highly recommend kind of taking over or taking, you know, this type of approach because writing social media posts manually every single day can take up a lot of time. And since your company following is so low, the value is not really there in terms of impressions delivered, clicks generated, things like that. So I generally recommend smaller companies focus more on advertising than an organic social strategy, um, but it's all about what you want to do. Um, so Publer is a great tool. Give it a, a look. Um, I have an affiliate link. You can check it out in the bottom of the video description and sign up if you'd like. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, definitely give us a subscribe, like the video here on YouTube, and uh, follow along for more awesome content related to digital marketing for B2B technology companies. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, I'm Hunter Nelson, and thanks for watching.